Hello everyone and welcome back to Orms TV. My name is Jess and I have been shooting almost exclusively on film for a bit more than a year now. Today I would like to share a little bit about my go-to film, Fuji Color C200, and why it is my favorite film to shoot on at the moment. Fuji Color C200, or just Fuji Color 200 as it is also known, is a consumer grade 35mm color negative film. Like most 35mm films, you can get about 36 shots out of a roll, or 38 if you're like me and you like living life on the edge. As the name implies, it has an equivalent ISO speed of 200. This means that it is best suited to shooting in relatively well-lit conditions. It is balanced for 5,500 Kelvin or daylight, so you'll achieve the best, truest results by shooting outdoors in the daytime or indoors with exclusively natural light. While this film dates back to the early 90s, it received an update in 2017 to include Fuji's super fine grain technology. Considering that you can pick up a roll for about 85 to 100 rand depending on where you shop, it falls into that same price bracket as two of Kodak's popular low sensitivity consumer films, Color Plus 200 and Gold 200, both of which I have shot on before. Speaking of Kodak's contributions to this category of film, the primary difference between C200 and any of Kodak's films is the color reproduction. Kodak rolls tend to be brighter and more golden, while C200 delivers rich, jewel-like greens and clean, bright, vibrant blues. Even in golden hour lighting, your warmer shades like orange yellows, sands and skin tones will take on a more muted, subtle quality. However, this does not mean you can't shoot a sunset or two. I think the reason that I love this film so much is because it's perfectly suited to not only my personal aesthetic sensibilities, but my particular creative process. From a technical standpoint, its wide exposure latitude means it's fairly forgiving in slightly more difficult lighting conditions. Its dynamic range is sufficient to simultaneously render brighter and darker areas of a shot with detail retained in both. Aesthetically speaking, it is more on the fine-grained side of the spectrum when discussing affordable films, but it still has enough texture that the images identify themselves as unequivocally analog. I am not a professional photographer, or even an incredibly experienced analog shooter. I photograph with the exclusive purpose of capturing the places I witness and the people I share a life with through a lens that is uniquely my own. I shoot a lot, every weekend if I can, and in a variety of uncontrolled conditions, so I need a film that is available, reliable, versatile and inexpensive. Fuji Color C200 is all of those things, and that means it's perfect for beginner film photographers or those who need a constant, everyday companion that offers them the technical and financial freedom to shoot regularly, while still obtaining good quality results with a strong aesthetic personality. If you have a role you'd like to test out, I would personally recommend getting out into nature, especially somewhere by the sea or by the mountains. I've shot some of my best images in the early morning by the peaceful tidal pools and harbors along the coast between Cork Bay and Simonstown, exploring the lush, vegetation-rich locations of Kirstenbosch and Babylon Storen, and shooting the Sunday evening summer picnics by a dam on a family member's estate. I hope that you enjoyed this little review of Fuji Color C200. I would love to know what you think about this film, so let me know in the comments down below if you've ever shot on it before and if you have, what you think of it. If you found this video interesting, it would be amazing if you could give it a like so that I know to make more videos like this in the future. And on that topic, if you would like to see more analog videos, you can hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell to get notified whenever we publish our next one. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.